Well, neighbors in Yuba County are complaining about illegal for sale signs littering the road. Your reporter covering Yuba County, Kayla Bowler, learned code enforcement is now listing. According to this, there should be a garage sale somewhere that way. However, I took a drive and I didn't find one. So that means at some point somewhere there was a garage sale, but the sign still remains. And that's exactly the type of thing code enforcement is trying to crack down on. People oftentimes place them on county property and then they don't return to remove them. And so they end up being a littering issue that plagues the entire community. Yuba County Code Enforcement is shifting its focus towards illegal signs and vehicle parking in the right of way. This includes snipe signs, which can be anything from a happy birthday sign to an advertisement posted on things like power poles or stop signs. There are signs that have been left behind advertising garage sales, which invites other littering to occur, which is what we're seeing here. You can see this, this uh, light pole that the county has uh, to light the intersection has had a lot of signs taped to it over time and none of that has been removed. Yeah, you see them all the time, pretty much every pole or corner along with all the campaign signs of that. Yuba County's local zoning law prohibits off-premise advertising. Their rules for political signs can vary, but code enforcement says generally they should be kept on private property and not in the county's right of way. I've always just seen it as so many people do it, you kind of accept it as the fact that it's, if everybody's doing it, why shouldn't everybody else? Code enforcement says their efforts to crack down on illegal signage doesn't have anything to do with the timing of the election. They're addressing citizen complaints and following county ordinance, focusing on education first. Trying to get awareness to some of the issues of the citizens' complaints and where they take us. And so education also is us going out and talking to you. If there's a phone number on a sign, we're going to let you know. If you're parked illegally, we're going to let you know. You might see an orange or a green tag on your vehicle stating that you have. It's not just signage they're looking at. They'll also be on the lookout for illegally parked vehicles. When you come across a vehicle that's parked completely or, or partially blocking the sidewalk, you, you, you potentially cause either the, the bike or the pedestrians or the, the kids having to go into the street. Code enforcement says for now they'll be storing the signs they take down for pickup by owner, but they'll be starting enforcement around January, which would mean fines and citations. But code enforcement says it is giving people a chance to fix the problem before going after them.